uh, Nanaimo Bench Talk. Uh, here again uh, this afternoon, I'm talking with a special guest today, Danny Walters. Uh, just before I get into the interview with Danny, though, I want to remind you that uh, Nanaimo uh, Timberman Bench Talk is brought to you by Steve Marshall Ford. Uh, Danny uh, is here uh, uh, today to talk about a couple of things, but uh, first and foremost, uh, as uh, you all know, Danny is uh, one of the uh, veteran goaltenders on the uh, Senior B team, and uh, he uh, had the uh, incredible experience of uh, a shutout uh, last week against uh, the Visiting Valley Rebels uh, in an 18 nothing game. And we're going to talk about that uh, shutout, and, uh, uh, and I think that uh, it merits uh, attention throughout this interview only because it's so rare in lacrosse, isn't it, Danny? Have you ever experienced a shutout before? In Bantam. <laughs> so in, a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. So that, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty rare. And, uh, and in the senior level, uh, uh, even uh, rarer yet. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. What uh, um, what was the uh, the game uh, like uh, leading up uh, to the uh, last period? I mean, it was it was a team that seemed to be struggling. They had a short bench. Uh, you guys had no problem scoring, but uh, I mean, they they still took a fair amount of shots on you. And uh, uh, what was the flow of that game? And when did you first start to uh, to think that maybe there was a shadow on its way? Um, second intermission. I, got, I was thinking about it for sure. So I, I'm sure the guys were too, and they were all pretty pretty you know. Realizing that there was potential for something pretty cool to happen. So, second intermission. Uh, so it starts to set in the third. Did, did you get to? Uh, uh, did you start to really think about it in the last few minutes of the game? Oh, for sure. How does that? <laughs> how does that affect a goal he's playing when you're when you're thinking about that? And, and I, it, I I don't think it really affects anything. It's just in the back of your mind, you know, that you don't want them to get a cheesy squeaker or something like that in the last couple of minutes there. But uh, no, the guys. I mean. You know, it's a, it's a team thing, a shutout. It's not just a goaltender thing, and they played awesome shutting the guys down. I mean, they didn't have you know too many difficult shots, but uh, yeah, I guess uh, I guess part of it is the uh, the team balance uh, too. I mean, you definitely have uh, an offensive touch so far uh, in the season. Um, what can you tell me about the defense that you see in front of you? They've been great. I mean, it's probably the best defense I've had in front of me. I mean, close to 15 years I've been on this team so I've, they've been playing real good so they keep the guys out. Yeah I, I think that's in it and uh, I would imagine most goalies would say that uh, they attribute a large percentage of their success uh, to the guys that are playing in front of them. Oh for sure. Uh, do you do anything uh, uh, um, special with your defense uh, during the course of a season to, to sort of get them to align with your style of play? Um, I think there's a couple things that, you know, I'm sure the defense probably does more than I would do, but uh, you know, the different styles of play, I mean, we have three goaltenders that, you know, are a bit different in styles, so they tend to do a little things like uh, defense a little, you know, different. I'm, I'm one of the guys where um, I prefer kind of guys more from the outside, where I think Nick and Pete, guy, you know, they, they, they're really good inside. and different different styles so you kind of change a little bit for each style of goaltender but I mean all in all they've been playing awesome in front of fall through that's all the episode. Yeah, the, uh, uh, the season has started out uh, really well um, and uh, I would say that, uh, that you guys are on a run uh, right now. Um, what do you think uh, coming up? Uh, is, uh, is the season going to play out in a similar fashion? What are your thoughts on that regard? Well, I mean, we've, we're off to a good start, but we know, like, I've been to a couple Presidents Cups now. We know we got to be, you know, better than we are right now, and that's that's the ultimate goal. You know, I mean, to have the start that we have is is great, but I mean, the end goal at the end of the day is the Presidents Cup, so we know we got to continue to improve every day and work toward that. So. The uh, uh, the team, uh, uh, one of the strong points has uh, has been the offense. Um, what to, what do you see as specific areas that you think work needs to be done on? I don't think it's necessary specific areas. I think it's all all together. I mean, in every area we got to improve. Um, we got to be you know we got to be able to score more. We got to be able to stop better. And every, every day we got to get better to you know these, these, the teams that come from out east. They're they're legit and they're they're good. And we got to you know we got to if we want to be at that level, we got to continue to improve and continue to get better every day and I think that's that's what we all know that we gotta do. It doesn't matter, you know, seven seven oh eight and oh it doesn't matter. We just gotta continue to keep getting better and continue to improve. So the the uh, the President's Cup uh, is something that uh, that you've played for in the past. 
uh, and uh, you know the caliber of play uh, of some of the strong teams that come out of Ontario. Uh, and not to mention, uh, we can probably expect uh, some Western teams as well to, to be quite strong. Uh, and uh, judging on how the team's been playing to this point, uh, what would you say, looking at the season now, knowing what's to come, where you think this Timberman team is, is poised for that tournament? Um, I think I think we've had a good start and we're definitely working towards it, but we have to be better. Um, like I said, it's just improvement every day. We've got to push each other to get better and better because they are really, really strong teams. They're senior A caliber teams coming out here um, to compete. And, we have to be, you know, we have to be a senior A caliber team by the time the season goes along, to by the time the tournament starts. So we're we're definitely taking steps in the right direction. But I, I think you can ask me, we're not quite there yet, but our goal is to be there by the end of the year. So. Well, I think that's uh, I think that's uh, a great approach uh, to things, um, and uh, and it's sort of uh, it is uh, uh, the kind of attitude that, to, that the Timberman seemed to exhibit to, as a whole uh, this year is that everyone is strongly committed. There was uh, there was certainly a fair amount of work put in at the start to, before the season started. Uh, the conditioning uh, seems to uh, really have paid off. Um, uh, the team has been able to have strong third periods in, in pretty much every game you've played and I think that's uh, that's because of the conditioning. Would you agree? I would agree with that 100%. Um, yeah, they, the guys have they don't put in the work in, you know, all throughout the off season, and it, and it has shown against teams. I mean, that's that's seen the guys running by guys by the third period exactly. So yeah, that's that's the small little things you got to do is you know come out every day and work hard, and it, it will pay off. And that's all we got to do is just keep working hard, and hopefully it pays off. So <laughs> uh, so I, I think that uh, I think that we started the interview on the uh, on the topic of the shutout. To let's end end it to on that topic as well. What was the team reaction around uh, around you at the end? End of the game yeah I mean I think it was you know it, it was definitely cool and something that I've, I've never been a part of you know out of all these years except for the bad one but uh, it was it was awesome the guys are pretty excited and uh, yeah it was it was pretty cool and something that I'll definitely cherish well thank you very much Danny I appreciate you coming in for this chat this has been an interview with Danny Walters I'm gonna call him a hometown hero for the uh, amazing shutout to game that he had and uh, saying bye for now, this is Frank Dubensky. This is uh, Timberman Bench Talk brought to you by Steve Marshall Ford.